Right, so today what we're going to be doing is fitting STI winglets. As you can see, I'm kind of all halfway through it because I couldn't find my tripod and I looked everywhere and I managed to find it. So I'll just give you a quick explanation of what to do first. So let me just tilt the camera see if you can get a decent angle. So if you've got genuine winglets like this, what you're going to want to do is pop off these two plastic tabs. I'll try and get it in the camera, sorry. So pop off your two plastic tabs. Put them somewhere safe because you will need them later. And then you go ahead and pop your car. Oh, and sorry, one sec. What you'll have to do as well, if you've got any clips behind here, behind here, just pop them all off so it fits up nice and flush. I'm just adjusting the camera. I'm on a bit of a hill, so. And then what you'll want to do is when you pop the back of it up nice and flush, as you can see, I've got three bits of masking tape here. What I've also done, I'll just go in nice and closely, I've marked it with a marker on each one, so the gap will be just right. I have used a Dremel so far, where I've got up to, is I've used a Dremel, but as you can see, the blade is a little bit too wide, so I just made a little indentation with it, and then I've got a crafting kit. And just slowly work with the plastic, oops, that was well off, just slowly work with the plastic, like so, up to the middle lines you've drawn and then your clips will slot in nice and easy so and you don't want to make the gaps too big that's why I stopped using the Dremel because it won't be completely secure as you can see what I'm doing here I'm just going across the top nicely just cutting it through nicely I did make two indentations with the Dremel I did one on the bottom as best I could and one on the top you slowly press it through. If you have got a standing knife, a standing knife will also work for this. Once you can try and just cut out these little pieces, you can see I'm trying to do it here. You want to do that? Go ahead and do that for all three tabs. I won't keep it too repetitive because I just try and make a quick little helpful guide, I guess. This is what you want to basically go ahead and do. Keep repeating this. Just work, just take your time with this. Not a rush, because you can only cut once, so... As you can see now, we're almost there. Just need to open it up a tiny bit more. What I ended up doing as well to help, help push the bit of plastic through is use a flat screwdriver. And just help push it through, so just adjust this one a bit more. And it's more or less popping. So once you've got all that lined up, what you want to do with the tabs, don't push them in completely as you can see, just let them rest because you don't want to clip them in yet but you want them in the position you then go ahead, push that where you think it's going to be happy what I'm going to do is get a bit of masking tape because I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes like the STIs have got the holes I'm going to put masking tape in here so do that there's a little mark I can see where it's actually been it's here. sorry Mia <laughs> I've got my little assistant with me today. Let's just check that one. See if that lines up. There we go. What we'll do is make oh, sure there we are. Just go ahead and use your marker again. And mark the little point. It's actually made a nice little indentation, so do that for this one. Hey, hold that pen please. Thank you. And then what we'll do is find the bottom one. So we took that there as if it's on the car. And that is going to want to go right there. So push down a little bit, try and make a bit of a mark. There's a mark there that I can see. Daddy, yeah. I miss you. I miss you too, baby. <laughs> Put your mask and tape there again. And go ahead, press down. There's a little mark there. Can I have the pen, please? Thank you. And go ahead and mark there. And then we'll get to drilling. Right, so what you'll go ahead and do is get a drill bit. It's about the same diameter as a little plastic clip. And you're going to go ahead and start drilling. Just 
take your time with this. It's okay with me, it's a drill. Is that funny? Go ahead. Let's fill that up. Yeah. <laughs> that funny. And now that, there we go, as you can see, that is matching. I've took the bottom clips not in because I've just used it just to show you. But that matches up perfectly, yeah, it is perfect. And what we'll do is we'll get a burr tool and deburr this as you can see there's a little lip here there's a little lip there oh, okay mm -hmm. yeah it's okay so what you go on head you burn it like so i've already started it anyway just go and spin it in there and have a nice flat surface it's windy worst case scenario if i mess this up it's windy daddy it's windy. doing let's slide it anyway yeah. no it should be okay it shouldn't have to no. seal it is it? Oh yeah. dear. It's not funny As you can red. see, it's yeah. made that nice and flush. It's Just keep working with it. Funny. So you're happy it's nice and flush with the rest of the bodywork. Mm. And then we should be good to go with actually clipping everything in. I don't know whether we're going to need to have to cut a little bit of the bottom of the winglets. Well, we get to find out. Right, let me just go ahead and fit this and see how it goes. Right, so when I fitted the clips, I've just popped them out just to show you. When I pull that tight, so I think it looks up, lines up nine, nicely. You can see these little gaps, and I wasn't quite happy with it. It appears to be the little taps, these are the little brackets. They don't I mean to make sure. Sorry, they don't. It doesn't sit flush. I lost words then, so I might pop these out. It is solid on the car, so maybe a bit of advice is obviously if you're watching this video is to pop these off first, so you don't go and do what I've done. I mean, there's little all there, but it covers it up anyway. They won't ever be coming off, so just a learning curve really. Right, so as you can see, I've bolted it in. I've just done it by hand, but for now, but it sits perfect there's a tiny bit of gap if I really zoom in because of them brackets that are there what I'd recommend if you want I mean you can do a go ahead and do what I've done just leave them just pop the white tabs off is just pop them off and it'll sit closer to the bumper there's no need for drilling so what I did buy bolts wise because these didn't come with any is M8 bolts I've put four in so there's two here there's one roughly there, one at the back. And I just pop the rest of your black tabs in. That's it, to be honest. So it looks a lot nicer. And just go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side. Just don't drill. <laughs> just do the three tabs on top. Like I said about popping these off, everything else that I showed you is a repeat process on the other side. What we're gonna do is get a screwdriver. <laughs> Try and pop this out because these are what why well, it's not sitting flush on the other side. I'll go ahead and take the other side off and do it properly. But before you install yours, both of them on, just go ahead and pop these off. What we'll do now, just get Dremel. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Go ahead and make them as smooth as possible and it'll fit nice and flush and you won't have that tiny gap like on the other side. So once you've took them off both sides here and here, just go ahead and sand it down a little bit.
gun head on the map. We'll be able to just pull out three tabs, like four, mark one. It should look nice and neat like this. And it's four bolts, two here, one here, one at the back. And the rest of these hubs.